Dave here, how are you? You might remember a couple of weeks ago I bought my, bought my Powermatic bandsaw. It's over in the corner and I showed everyone unboxing and putting it together. What you wouldn't have known is that the same day I bought that, I bought this guy. Yes, I do buy these things. Okay, so I bought this guy because I thought it would be a perfect partner for the bandsaw. It will take up to a 3 inch diameter bobbin and a bobbin is one of these guys and so it's designed for sanding internal radiuses. Much like the compass plane I was showing the other day on Arthur's toolbox, but this guy is for much tighter radiuses. It will go down to uh, a quarter inch spindle sleeve, which is fantastic. Anyway, why did I get this instead of other ones? There's a few on the market around. Uh, this one is a super quiet motor and I will turn it on. How nice is that? Very, very quiet. Now you notice at the moment when I turn it on there's no spindle in there and also I haven't got it hooked up to my dust extractor at the moment. Turn it off. I'm going to go through the unboxing and assembling it. And it's really, really very easy. This is a very basic machine. The box they say to keep a hold of just in case you need to use it for anything further down the track. So I sliced all four corners and flat packed it so I can use it further if I need the polystyrene packing is like a sandwich, it just encases the machine and inside each of those um, sides of the polystyrene are the bobbins and on the other side are the spanners. Carefully don't throw any of this packaging away. Here's everything you get with it, spindles, inserts, spanners and instructions. As per normal, cast iron is covered in this gunk to protect it for transport but it does clean off easy with terps and an old t-shirt I used in this situation, just a cotton rag. These three small spindles also have this gunk on them, but they clean off okay. Now I undid the tabs on the bottom of the small spindles, these retaining tabs, and turned them facing downwards while I slid the spindle on, while I slid the sleeve on, sorry, and then flipped it back up the other way and just tightened the clamp up with a Phillips head screwdriver. Here's the cradle, quarter, half, five eighth, inch and a half, and two inch. The two larger spindles, you tighten up the clamp and compresses the rubber to hold onto the sleeves. And here's all the spindles, bobbins, whatever you want to call them, back in the cradle. And on the other side of the machine is the cradle for the inserts. You can tilt the thing over to 45 degrees if you want. There's also a resting bolt there. This is the dust port, and I found the dust port takes my Festor 36mm hose in perfectly. Now back to use, back to using it. I'm going to use one of the larger spindles. I'm going to put the two inch spindle in. I'll pull that guy out. Grab the two inch spindle. You can see this little indent. That's a locating point and there's the same as on the inside of the rim here on the table. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Pop it in, drop it down and remember anti-clockwise when you're tightening it up. There we go. I've got my space helmet on which is just fantastic. I love this thing. I'll turn it on so I don't fog up. Bob and Sanders there. I'll turn it on, you can watch it oscillate. And you can hear the shop back. So it doesn't get all of the dust, but I'll tell you what, it's not bad. And then we've got this stuff here, and a lot of people don't know how to get rid of that. This thing here is called a belt cleaning stick, a bit of rubber. I've seen people use thongs. Thongs in Australia mean a totally different thing to the rest of the world. A thong is something you put on your feet. I'm going to turn it on. You watch how this cleans it up. You watch. There you go like a brand new one. Let me know if your experiences with these things, good or bad, I don't care. If you feel I'm worth a like, click the old thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe, by all means subscribe, I'll, I'll send you emails to let you know when I upload another video. And down in the description box is the links to the social media and all that kind of stuff. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.